Hi, my name is Catalina. I am a Latin pop music artist here based in Nashville. Um, I'm originally from Santiago, Chile. I was born and raised there. I moved to the US back in 2011 to go to college um, for music and sound recording. I was living up in Connecticut and then I moved here to Nashville at the end of 2016. And that's pretty much when I began um, creating music at a more professional level. Um, but the move to Nashville really got things rolling for me. I, it, it was where, I, it's been where I've perfected my craft. I've learned a lot about other musicians. I've kind of like found my community. Um, here in Nashville with all the different like musical genres and different like artists that I've been able to meet and the first time that I ever met Music Neighbors was at a benefit show. I was just one of the performers there at the show and Jason and Chelsea were doing some video um, and then from there sparks flew <laughs> and we've worked on a couple of other things um, since then, worked on a couple of Christmas carols outside of the groove during COVID and the pandemic for the holidays and then um, worked on a couple of shows together and now I am part of their artist committee. It's been a delight working with Music Neighbors. Um, Jason and Chelsea are super duper nice, which I think is like the foundation of all um, good creative and collaborative relationships. Um, but yeah, it's just been really seamless. I felt really supported by um, the two of them, which is always amazing because outside of all the Music Neighbors, uh, work that I've done with them, they're always there regardless. For like other shows, we bump into each other, um, or if they're there just to come out and support maybe a show that I'm doing or even on social media, it's really amazing to have two very, very supportive and genuine people in my corner. Participating at the Mix It Up Showcase was really, really awesome. I think the, the first reason why it was really awesome is because at that point, I think I was seven-ish months pregnant and it was just super duper amazing to be able to just get up on that stage um, and not only share my music with like the audience and music neighbors but also with my little baby Sophia that was in my belly at the time so that was a really special part of that night um, and it was also extra special just because music neighbors did ask uh, for me to share a little bit more of like my songs in Spanish which is always a nice invitation to have um, but it's always daunting singing in Spanish in a country where it's predominantly English. I mean, you'd be surprised the amount of like Latin people and Latin musicians in the Latin community here in Nashville, but I still never know sometimes when I sing in shows like how it's gonna be received. So the fact that Music Neighbors was like, no, we would particularly want you to sing most of everything in Spanish, it's really super reassuring that there's a lot of like support for the diversity of genres. I feel like now it's getting a lot of spotlight on behalf of a bunch of different organizations and venues such as like Music Neighbors, but I know that that has on, hasn't always been the case. So it's really nice that Music Neighbors did want to like foster that that night. And I was able to share it with a sea of audience members that might have not known what I was talking about. I tried my best to explain. I'm pretty sure I also had everybody try and sing along to one of my songs, Multifacetica. <laughs> Um, it was a super special night and I like was able to also just meet a lot of like different musicians whether they were on stage that night or off stage. It was nice to be able to um, meet other new creatives, fellow peers through the Music Neighbors program as well. I've always additionally wanted to do more for the music community or just to, like how else can I leave my footprint in this world and I think that when Music Neighbors presented me with the invitation and the opportunity to be a part of their artist committee, I was like, I have to take this because maybe this is this is another way that I can make a little bit of impact without like being on stage or writing music. Like how else can I build and foster with other people and collaborate, foster that like same opportunities that other people have given me as a musician, as an artist. Like how can I help up uplift other artists impact changes, like bring something good. And Jason and Chelsea have made me feel very comfortable within the committee. Um, and it's it's been a, an amazing opportunity and I can't wait to see what they want to do and how I can help them. I think music neighbors are super important for the community because they are our neighbors. <laughs> um, no, um, all jokes aside, um, music neighbors is just a truly like nurturing and supportive environment and I think that as a new musician or new musician to Nashville it's very daunting to know where to begin um, just because there are a lot of musicians there are a lot of videographers photographers other like different types of like media artists just being able to like 
jive with someone and know that they got your back like that's what you get here at music neighbors and that's what like jason and chelsea have been like so wonderful at like fostering it's just they're two very genuine people that really have like a, a deep deep love for music and that shows and the fact that they are able to like lend their talents and their passion to see others grow and succeed as us like musicians is like it's like amazing beyond what I think I could describe in words. So I think Music Neighbors just really creates that like soft landing for people that like might still try and get their footing, but also for someone that might feel like half a newbie and half not, like at least that's how I felt. It was just like really reassuring to me to have, again, like just people that had my back and it's a two-way street um, because like I am super duper happy to support them as they are supporting me. Like we're creating this content not just for the Catalina project. Like I know that they're not just working for the artists. Like they're also like working for themselves and what they can bring back to the community to work with other artists. So it's a part of like the Nashville music community that I think like is super essential and there's a bunch of different organizations out there that are doing amazing things because again it's not like a competition music neighbors is just like adding another like piece of flair um and like amazing spice to what nashville has to offer um with open arms all the time if there is like any amount of dollars that you can um donate to such an amazing cause with Music Neighbors, whether it's one dollar, a dollar and fifty cents, ten dollars, twenty-five dollars, five hundred, a thousand, like whatever you can give, it's gonna make a difference because it all adds up. Um, and the more that you can spread the word, if you can't financially contribute, like those people might be able to give a dollar or ten dollars, and that all continues to add up. So the more and more people that you can share this with, the more people that you can cast that net and that web out, like we'll find more people that might be able to financially contribute or might be able to spread the word to their family members, their friends, their connections, and it'll just keep expanding, maybe even beyond the confines of Music City Nashville. And all of that money and all of that word of mouth is just going to help artists like me to do some good in the world. It's gonna help Music Neighbors to have an even larger footprint than they have now. It's gonna help them um, sustain themselves like financially so that they can bring better programs to the artists of Nashville, bring better programs back to you, the audience. Like how can we help um, make Music City be the best it can be? It starts here with Music Neighbors. So donate today. If you can't today, sleep on it, ask your pillow, donate tomorrow, um, spread the word and yeah, just help them be the coolest nonprofit that Nashville has to offer. <laughs>